Hello, Christy here for a 14 day challenge. Today we are halfway through. This is day seven of the 14 day challenge. And today we're gonna to talk about three ways that people try to kill your dreams and what you can do about it. So I found an illustration when I went to leadership retreat and uh, Shannon Furby, it was, this was her, her illustration and I just kind of adapted it a little bit. So you uh, have started a new business and you're excited and life is great. You meet new friends and you're having a girls night out and you are having a great time. You're talking, you're laughing, you're laughing till you cry, you're playing games. Everything is going your way. You're at a party and your parents are there and as you're about to go out the door, your father pulls you to the side and he says, I am so proud of you. You are doing such a great job. You are amazing. You meet a woman who had uh, chemo and she had lost all of her hair and she's grown it back and you give her a hair clip and you put it in her hair and the tears come to her eyes because she hasn't had her herself to feel beautiful in a long time and you just feel really great about doing that for her you go on a road trip with your teammates and you have so much fun you meet the owner of the company who's an amazing person you have great conversations you meet new friends and you're really excited on your way back and you're excited about what is coming in the future so things are going really well and you are being brave and so you go on this 14 day challenge and you're so excited and you get on and you're really scared and you do your first live video ever and so you get on and you do the best that you can with the training that you have for the first time and then you wait for those notifications so you're waiting and all of a sudden within just a few minutes you have a notification that there's a comment on your video so you run to that place and you go and look and there are three words there and they say it's a scam there are so many things out there that are trying to kill your dreams have you ever wanted to be an actress have you wanted to start your own business have you wanted to have a PhD be a doctor there's all kinds of things whatever your dream may be there's always going to be people there trying to kill it but don't let them you need to pursue it anyway. And here are three ways that other people will try to shoot down your dreams, but stick around. I have five things that you can do to overcome it and to make your dream come true anyway. So the first dream killer is that people may criticize you for pursuing your dreams. So let's face it, people are judgmental. They view life in black and white, right or wrong, instead of seeing the world in shades of gray. If your point of view is different than theirs, then you know, you'll hear why you're wrong. You'll receive criticism, but don't listen. Don't buy into it because if you do, it'll just break down your dream. When people criticize others, they are coming from a place of fear. They may be thinking, what if she succeeds? And then maybe thinking that they're going to be a loser in comparison to you because you succeeded. But that's their problem, not yours. So the dream killer number two is some people will tease you about your dream. So teasing is just a different way of criticizing. Sure, it seems like it's all fun and games and, and they might say, act like they're really supporting you and say, well, I was just kidding, lighten up. But making criticism with teasing is still criticism. And it's just dressed up nice and pretty. So make sure you recognize it when you see it. Dream killer number three. Other people may even ignore or avoid talking to you about your dream and they may avoid talking to you all together. So if pursuing your dream makes others uncomfortable, they may just take the avoidance route. Maybe talking about it just reminds them of how they're not going after their own dreams. 
Or maybe they are such a pessimist that they simply can't see how anybody's dream could ever be realized. But again, remember that's not your problem, it's their problem. So I have a list of five things that you can do to follow your dreams anyway. Send me a message and I'd love to share those with you. But keep going anyway. If you remember nothing else, remember this, don't give up. It's way too easy to believe all the negativity and buy into the fact that your dream is unreasonable. Remember, nothing is impossible. If you want it badly enough, you will find a way. Keep your passion and you will definitely make your dreams come true.